How much money can you make in your local area moving lightly used wooden pallets from a supplier to a buyer, from a business that no longer needs them to a buyer that needs them on a weekly basis to ship their stuff out? We're not talking about pallet yards here or anything like that. We're talking about actual businesses that generate these as a byproduct and we're moving them to a business that actually needs them. So let's go and get the calculator out here and we're going to go with one customer ordering 100 pallets a week and figure out what the money potential is in this particular field, okay? My name is John Wilker. I'm the owner of The Simplest Biz. I sell a training course teaching people how to set this type of business up, the pallet recycling business, without the employees, without the overhead. You know, no warehouse, no repairing, no lifting, no sorting. So we're keeping this at a simplified level here, okay? Uh, so... 100 pallets a week that could be done on a Monday morning, as an example. Get up at 7, and you drive to your first supplier. They're loading the pallets on your truck, 100 of them, and you're driving a half a mile or five blocks or two miles or five miles to your buyer. And we are selling these pallets at $8 a piece. So in that 45 minutes to an hour and 15-minute period of time, you're going to pull in around an $800 profit because we're getting these pallets for free. Now, we would need to subtract out gas money, okay? And there's insurance for your truck that you mine's about 85 bucks a month that I pay. So that's kind of my overhead. So on this example, we're pulling in generally around $800 for just having one supplier and one buyer. So what if that one buyer is actually ordering 200 pallets a week, which is not out of the realm of, a possibility at all. There's businesses that need 2,000 pallets a week. But in this example, so let's let's break this down and we'll, we'll break it down by day and week and year, okay? So in this example, 200 pallets times $8 a piece. We're getting them for free, so we don't have a, over, a huge overhead. So that's 1,600 bucks. So 1600 bucks. Christmas time, these businesses a lot of times shut down between the 23rd and the 2nd of January. So let's just say 50 weeks a year. So 50 weeks a year, the, the buyer is buying these pallets, 200 at a, at a, at a clip. And so that's going to be $80,000 a year for something you can execute on a Monday morning before you maybe do your other job. I have some people as students that they just execute their businesses one day a week and they take the rest of the week off. Now, here's the cool part. The ceiling that you have to actually grow the business is absolutely huge because how many deliveries can you do in a day? You can literally do 10 deliveries in a day on a local level if you have the business to do it. You could do all your business instead of getting out there and doing it on a daily basis. You could do it all in, on a Monday and stack up all your orders on one day of the week and do five, six, ten pickups and deliveries on just one day of the week and take the rest of the week off if you choose and multiply this number out. So at least let me give you an example of one of mine where I actually have to pay $4 a piece for some 12-foot long pallets, okay? But I'm making $30 a piece per unit, so I'm selling them for 30 so my net is $26 per unit. So 50 times 26, excuse me, 50 times 26 pallets is a $1,300 get, right? Because I had to pay $4 per, per unit. So that's why I did it at 26. So 13, just one customer ordering 50 12-foot pallets a week times 50 weeks a year is a customer that's worth $65,000 a year it's one customer so how many customers can i stack on top of my local level to be, have a comfortable living it, it just doing 150 12 foot pallets a week and you had three customers doing the same thing you're at a, almost a two hundred thousand dollars a year times three customers equals one hundred ninety five thousand dollars. okay and in this example that I've been giving you these examples, I'm just talking about pallets. If you've watched any of my channel, you realize that we deal with corrugated boxes, crates, 
dunnage, which are four by four by eight foot long pieces of lumber, Gaylord boxes, 55 gallon drums, wire spools, industrial bags, all sorts of other items that the customers that are buying, like these in this example, the 12 foot pallets, also need to ship their goods out as well. In most cases, these items are going on top of the pallets. The 55 gallon drum is going on top of the pallet. The corrugated boxes are going on top of the pallets and they're being shipped out just like the pallets are, never to be seen again and needed again the next week or in a few days. So we can multiply our efforts and, and source these things out, which I teach in the training, as far as the lightly used corrugated boxes, lightly used wire spools, and sell these items to the existing customers that we're, we already have buying pallets and multiply our efforts in that case. So I'll run through one example and I'll let, let you go. If I have a customer, let me clear this out, that's ordering 200 corrugated boxes a month for $4 a piece. So times 400, times four. And I'm getting those for free or 25 cents a piece or whatever. And four is kind of low, but that's 800 bucks uh, per load. So I'm getting $800 for the corrugated boxes here, but then I'm also, keep that number in, in mind, selling them 100 pallets, and let's say they're small ones at $6 a piece. Excuse me, 100 times six, what, well, 600. So $6 a piece, 600 bucks, plus the $800, now we're we're dealing with a customer now is worth fourteen hundred dollars a month, eight hundred plus six hundred, and we are multiplying that out times fifty times a year. That's a seventy thousand dollar customer. How many customers can you get? That's just Monday morning, okay? So I hope this gives you some clarity. When you have a business that has low overhead. And you're getting your product basically for free in 95% of the cases. Even if we were paying a couple bucks a piece, we're still making great profit. Because these pallets go from eight, 10, 12, 14 dollars a piece, depending on size and style. You have a business model that's simple and executable in your local area, which allows you to spend more time with your family because you're not trading time for money. I hope these numbers have an impact on you and help you see what this is all about and know that you have to gain some knowledge on how to set this up. And that's why I created the training, the simplest biz training for you folks to learn this. Yes, I do sell the training course. It's not free, but it's valuable information to learn this business model in a streamlined manner to where you are not having to run some huge operation in the pallet recycling game you can simplify and go from point A to point B directly without dealing with the 48, 40 cent a pallet in most cases, not having the warehouse or the employees or the repairing of pallets. I'm gonna do another video about repairing pallets shortly for you guys to understand that I don't do that and how that all came about, okay? But for now, let's concentrate on these numbers and understand that you have the ability to make really good money. Really good money, 1400 times 50. Again, let's do that one last time. 70,000 bucks, one customer. Ordering a couple products from you that you can source for free. John Wilker, the simplestbiz.com. Have a good one.